thank you for coming to the now 8th annual uh, Grand Fondo Allegheny. You are all doing the Grand Fondo, correct? We've got a 115 mile course for you this year, probably the longest uh, course we've ever had. It's a very challenging one. Thank you for taking on the challenge. I uh, have a few notes that I want you to uh, pay attention to. Uh, will help your safety out there. First one is just one of direction. When you get to the end of the block here, where the light is, you're going to be making uh, a left turn. The other, some of the other routes will turn right. You're going to be turning left. There's actually an orange, um, I'm sorry, green grand sign. That's the only uh, specific directional sign you'll see. The other directional signs will be yellow arrows, or black arrows on yellow signs. Uh, the protocol for the turns generally is a warning arrow, then a double arrow at the turn itself, and then a confirmation arrow. Um, in some cases, like where we have a T intersection, you won't get a warning arrow because you're going to have to stop anyway. So uh, you'll just see the double arrow there. So don't panic if you don't see a warning arrow, but um, uh, you'll know you'll be on the course when you see that double arrow. Um, um, there are a couple of, of areas I want you to pay attention to when you're out there riding. Um, first one is it has to do with uh, the notation on the, the ride with GPS uh, data that we get. Um, the turn from Route 18, the Route 18, you'll turn at about 30 miles in um, at the bottom of your first descent. Um, and you'll be on Route 18 for about 18 miles, I believe. Good. Good sense, I guess. Um, um, and the ride with GPS data says you will turn left onto Route 616. We've done that in years past, but in fact, this year we are going up to Route 615. But um, ride with GPS seems to want to call that Route 616. So um, the, the data is correct if you downloaded it, it's just the notation is wrong. They're saying it's Route 616. It's actually Route 615. On the Q sheets, we changed that. Um, but if you come to Route 16, 616, and you will come to it first, uh, just remember not to turn there, but to keep going about another, I think, six or seven miles up to Route 615. Um, because if you turn on Route 616, it, although it'll get you the same location, it's bumpy and not a great road, so that's why we, we had you stay on 18. Um, there, there's another uh, area of concern I just want you to ride heads up on. Um, when you're coming off of Warm Springs Mountain, uh, you're on Route 220, which is generally a good descent. I mean, the pavement's great. Um, there's not too much traffic on it, but there will be more traffic than, you know, in, in some other areas, um, in, the, in higher speed traffic. So please just ride heads up. Uh, there's a waterfall, I think about six or seven miles into the descent. Um, and there's sometimes traffic there, people be turning in to the parking area for the waterfall to go hike. Um, so just, again, ride real heads up there. Uh, expect cars to you know, not be expecting you. Um, so again, ride heads up. When you get to the near the bottom of the descent, almost all the way to Covington, you're going to make a right-hand turn onto Route 687, which is Jackson River Road. That is basically a U-turn. It's, it's a real tight right-hand turn. Uh, so you're really going to have to scrub your speed we try to mark it um, you know, as, as carefully as we can, but it comes up on you fairly quickly. So just, if you're, if, especially if you're watching your, your GPS data, um, just make sure you uh, break early for that turn because if you, if you don't, you're going to keep going straight, you've got to turn around. So uh, just be expecting that turn at, at near the bottom of the descent. Uh, if you have mechanicals or minor issues, uh, you can call or text me. Sometimes text works better um, in getting a message out. My text call number is 434-465-1179. And we'll, uh, we'll get help to you as soon as possible. Uh, hopefully you brought some, some tools and uh, you know, tubes with you because we don't have full mechanical support. So uh, again, try to try to do what you can on your own. Uh, but if, obviously if it's a, a medical emergency, call 911. If for some reason your cell calls and go through, go to the nearest house, knock on the door, and, and ask to use their landline. And people will always help. So uh, 
Any questions, any concerns? Sure, sure. If you're uh, putting it in your phone, it is area code 434-465-1179. All right, so we want to thank our sponsors that made this all possible for us. Uh, Lumos Networks, West Rock, Lewis Gale, Allegheny, Shentel, the Allegheny Highlands Community Bank, Hammond Mitchell, William Fabrication, Bao Kem, Fire and Light Gallery with Chuck Almrez, who is our wonderful photographer, Kem Kaur, and uh, our, our great supporter for the past eight years, Allegheny Highlands Chamber of Commerce and Tourism. I want to thank my personal assistant, Ed Hokinson, who's come from uh, Blacksburg to help me uh, chauffeur me around as I recover from a broken leg. Don't take my example. Please ride safe out there. Stay away from Stay away from parking. Any questions, any concerns? We'll start you on the horn. Riders ready.